all right update video for day i lost count <laughs> so as you see this is probably the no it is definitely now the tallest build i've ever done on this build plate it's still about halfway there could go twice that height which is pretty impressive it is the right arm gauntlet the detail on it is immaculate it's just perfect there's some extra supports there that i did not need but we're learning that's okay i didn't notice i it, they actually i did notice them but it looked in cure for some reason to me that now I'm looking back i'm like how in the world this is nice very very good support minimal i would say and it's on there very well it is at 78 percent should be done tomorrow morning um the next update i have been working on hours on end learning cura just basically what i've been doing is throwing in pretty big and complex and oddly shaped models and editing them editing all the settings and just seeing the results that i get i initially got this at about an hour and seven minutes or excuse me one day and seven hours of print i've got it down now to 23 hours and this is with minimal support and it seems like it'll hold on so it's using tree supports and i added one custom support just for kicks and giggles right there uh this will be pushing the limits i do realize that it's a right shoulder plate for the mark uh 85 build but i'm very curious i think it's i'm gonna try it because i want to push the limits and i'll know it'll fail in the early stages instead of the late ones so that kind of idea there i've been testing different kinds the white filament gray red i have some clear filament from e sun that i haven't checked out yet the red and uh gray filament is from a company called layer up and the white one is an amazon basics filament right now by far not even close the amazon's basics white filament is the best it just it feels nice it's the sturdiest the prints come out looking the cleanest the nicest minimal to no stringing uh, i like it the most the red and gray from layer up i'm never buying from them again it's not terrible but it's not great um amazon basics i like i'm curious about the clear transparent filament i was kind of dumb i thought i could do something with it that i can't do uh to make it clear you kind of need like resin for that so uh, but it's okay it's filament is filament i'll use it i have a huge package of three kilograms of black PLA plus filament coming in later this week. And that's going to be for the rest of this Ironman build that I'll be doing. Prints are to remind me that I sucked. Uh, the only other update that I have is kind of news. Um, I have ordered a Raspberry Pi and the camera that goes with it and new fans for this printer. So later this weekend, I believe I'll get to it. I'm going to be doing my, I guess you can call it a how-to video, or how I did, I should say. I won't be the first unit, obviously. Uh, upgrading it for the CR10S Pro V2. I don't see a lot of version 2 videos, and it's basically the same printer, but it's got little weird gimmicks that are different. So, But it's, I'm, I'm very excited about this. I'm really excited about this. And I will mention the other thing that's really cool that DO3D did with this print. You see there's space all along this hand? You can clearly see it from here. It's on the other side. This was one file. I could split it into two objects, but I looked and I said, why? I could use the minimum amount of filament, printing it like a vase, it would be perfect. But I was sitting there kind of confused. Why, why didn't they make it all together and leave that for us to split or not? And then I realized, this line right here, the, there's no detail on the right side of it. I believe the same is the case for here. So, uh, well, not completely. There's there's some detail there. But I think the idea is when they designed it, and maybe I'm wrong, you can file down the sides that it's not meeting to make the circumference of it smaller. Maybe for fitting. I'm not going to do much custom fitting yet. I think 100% is going to do well for me. We will see. Uh, I might be proven wrong, but 
this looks pretty good. I mean, it's definitely bigger, not smaller than I need, but I'm okay with that. I can always add padding. I always need room for wires, etc. That's fine. I don't want to be feeling like I'm in a scuba diving suit that's made out of plastic, you know? So there you go, there you go guys. That's a, a summarized video update for today. And uh, be sure to catch the next one because it's going to get exciting when we do these upgrades and the rest of the body of the Ironman Mark 85 coming together.